right, so what we want to do is we want to learn our first tool, uh, something that we can do uh, with our clients. So I'm going to um, ask for someone to come up. They want, they'll allow me to, to work with them to, to, uh, to try something. You want to try it? OK, good. Don't fake it. Don't worry. No one's going to uh, bark like a dog or, you know. <laughs> oh, you're done that. <laughs> OK, so I'm going to have you sit here. OK, so when I do demonstration, and I'll be doing a lot of that over our next few classes together, how we do it is I will, I will just go through it once, and then we'll talk about it. Uh, so just watch and kind of observe what happens, and then we'll talk about what I did and why I did it, OK? All right, so good. How are you? Perfect. It's Sheila, is that right? OK, all right, Sheila. So you're already in good position. We want our client to be sitting up straight, feet flat on the floor. It's kind of a stable position we start with, OK? All right, Sheila, so I'm just going to step in here and take a hold of your arm for a moment. I'd like you to bring your hand up in this position like this. Turn it around. Focus on, bring your fingers together and focus on your middle finger. Now in a moment, I'm going to release your hand and arm, and the fingers will begin separating, separating, wider and wider, further and further apart. Separating, separating, wider and wider, further and further apart. Separating, separating, wider and wider, further and further apart. Separating, separating, wider and wider, further and further apart. Separating, separating, wider and wider, further and further apart. Separating, separating, wider and wider, further and further apart. I'm just going to bring that hand down. The other hand, bring it up. Okay, very good. Now let's bring the hand back down. Okay, good. All right, so what just happened? Her fingers moved. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'm so good. No, I'm just kidding. No, she, she gave herself permission to listen and follow me, and so she followed along with what I asked her to do. So let's look at what I did. First thing I did is, I, you might have noticed, I gave her a lot of space initially. Now when we work with a client, we want to respect them. I, I'm not going to ask her permission, but I'm going to give her some space. I don't want to just, I'll just stand here close for a minute. I don't want to hover and make her uncomfortable right now. So I'm giving her a little space, made sure she was sitting in a proper position. And then I told her before I stepped in, I said, I'm just going to step in and take your arm and your hand. And then I reached in, okay? And I brought the hand up and I showed her how I wanted her hand to be. And I'm just, I'm just kind of holding lightly under her, her elbow here. And I'm bringing the fingers together and the hand in front of her face and I'm tapping her middle finger and asking her to focus on her middle finger. And then I said, in a moment, when I release your hand and arm, your fingers will begin. And after the word begin, I let go, and I say, separating, separating, wider and wider, further and further apart. And what I'm looking for is to see, as I kind of very rhythmically repeat that, you might have noticed, that see how she responds. And over a given amount of time, I'm looking to see how much movement we get in that hand. Okay and see how she's responding to that idea. I'm also looking at some other, other things that are going on with her breathing, some, but this is all you need to think about right now, is just how much movement are the hands here? And then after a while, I, I just said, bring your hand down. And then I just said, other hand up. And I didn't say anything else except showed her what I wanted, brought her hand into about the same position, not saying anything, tapping the finger like I did before, and then I re released it and I stepped back. Now, I didn't say anything else, did I? No. And I watched to see what happened. Now, in terms of the movement in the hands, over about the same amount of time, it was very similar movement. Right? Yep. OK? So then I just said, we'll bring the hand back down. Now, you may have noticed, if you were watching <laughs> her, that there were some things going on with her eyes, and her blinking started to change. And there was a little glazing also that started there as well. And by glazing, I mean it kind of looking like they're getting watery a little bit, this kind of thing. So. Uh, I'm watching how she's reacting. But the biggest thing we're looking for here is how she has reacted to uh, initially the right hand here and now the left hand. Now, when I stepped in, took her hand, and then released it, I was telling her what to do, right? Yeah. Or giving her a direct suggestion and looking at her response. And the second time, I was not. So what information can you guess I might be getting here? 
Pardon me? It's not only that she's suggestible because she's following me, so that's correct, but also her type. Well, let's look at that. Okay, so let's see what happened. What is, let's, 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 let's look at this. Okay, now this is a crude test, but this is, a, this is a little suggestibility test, okay? What I did is I gave her a direct literal suggestion and I watched how she responded, right? Now, then I didn't give her any, any uh, suggestion, but I set up an inference because the same way I tapped the finger and released, I tapped the finger and released. I set up an inference, but unless she was able to process that inference and understand it, nothing would happen. So if we have someone who responded equally, physically and emotionally, what do we have? <laughs> now, now we're going to do it again, and this time I'm going to have her levitate. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> She'll think it anyway. No, I'm just kidding. Can you do it again? What if somebody, if she knows now what's coming? Very good question. Now, so now if she knows what's coming, the information I'm going to get is not going to be accurate probably. It may or may not be. So now that you all know it, when you try it and learn it with, e with each other, it's not going to be accurate because you know what's supposed to happen here. Uh, and we're going to actually give this a go here uh, tonight with you, you guys. It should be fun. But anyway, um, what we found is, is with this crude test, she's probably pretty close to the middle. We're not going to look at her with this one test and go, oh, she's somnambulist. But she's going to be pretty close probably. And we would, we would, you know, with a client, we would do the questionnaire and look at other indicators as well. Um, so, you know, Sheila is the, the type of person, if we're correct, that, that a stage hypnotist is probably going to be looking for, you know. <laughs> You've experienced that. <laughs> She's been on stage before. I've done that. You've done the show, see? So here we have a person that we would assume would be probably good in those shows because she's more suggestible. So let's do it again, and I'll run through it and watch it happen, listen to the verbiage, and uh, so we'll, uh, well, let me break it down one more time. I'll just slowly walk you through it, and I'll add one more element. We'll just see how, th how this, this goes as well, okay? All right, so we're, you're comfortable sitting up straight, feet flat, okay. So I'm gonna step in, I'm gonna take your arm here, okay, your hand like this. Bring it in. Focus on your middle finger. As I release your hand and arm, your fingers will begin separating, separating, wider and wider, further and further apart. Separating, separating, wider and wider, further and further apart. Separating, separating, wider and wider, further and further apart. Separating, separating, wider and wider, further and further apart. Separating, separating, wider and wider, further and further apart. Separating, separating, wider and wider, further and further apart. Let's see that we're going to bring that hand down, and the other hand up. Now, Sheila, as you continue to focus on that middle finger, I want you to tell me, is it more the hand or the arm that starts to draw inwards towards your face? Is it more the hand or the arm? The hand. So you focus on that hand and just feel that sense of that hand wanting to draw inwards, closer to your face. It's a sense of feeling it pulling inward, that hand. Closer and closer. Closer and closer. And you really begin to feel that sense of that hand drawing inwards. And as you do, your eyes are going to feel as if they're becoming a little maybe blurry, the eyelids feeling heavy. Every blink, they feel heavier and heavier. And that hand continues to draw inward, closer and closer. And feel that heaviness in the eyelid. Very heavy every time they blink. That hand drawing closer <coughs> and closer. And just feel that drawing closer and closer. The eyelids growing very heavy now. Right. And just feel that hand continuing to draw inward, closer and closer. <coughs> and the harder you try, the more difficult it is to stop it. You can try, but the harder you try, the more that hand wants to pull inward, closer and closer. 
can try harder, but the harder you try, the more the hand will continue inward. You cannot stop it. It draws closer and closer and closer, becoming even closer to your face. Now you're feeling that. Closer and closer now, drawing inward. Closer and closer. And when that hand touches your forehead, you're just going to enter the hypnotic sleep. Closer and closer. Closer and closer now. Just sense it, feel it. Closer and closer. Closer and closer. Closer and closer. The harder you try, the more difficult it is to stop it. You cannot stop it. It's closer and closer now. Very, very close. In a moment, you'll feel that skin contact. At that moment, just convert it, you into this hypnotic sleep. And now, deep sleep. Now, Each time I suggest deep sleep for the purpose of hypnosis, with your permission, you allow yourself to enter quickly, calmly, and deeply. Now, I'm going to touch your hand, and we're going to release the hand. Just relax it. Completely limp, loose, completely relaxed. That's right. Now, just allowing yourself just to drift into this very pleasant, very calm, very comfortable state. Just feel how that there's a sense of flow, this ease. I'm going to count down from the number five down to zero. Each count allows you to enter a bit more deeply into this state. Wonderful, comfortable calmness. Now feel that at five. Good. Four, that's right, you're just letting go. Three, that's right. Two, and one. Zero is this deep sleep, that's right. Good, just letting yourself go. More and more comfortable, more and more calm. Isn't that a wonderful feeling? Very positive. Now in a few moments, we'll, we'll use the opposite <coughs> count from zero up to five. At five, you'll awaken completely to a non-suggestible state. But around that number three, you might start to feel a little grin because it really feels good, real, very positive. And so at zero, now we just always go a little deeper at zero. But at one, you begin to come up Already that little grin, that little smile at two. That's right, you can't fight. It feels good at three. Smiling, grinning, turning to a laugh at three now. And four. And at five, eyes are opening, wide awake. One, two, three, four, five. Eyes open, wide, wide awake. Now see how, how her eyes are very glazed and wet and very, she's a good subject. And she allowed me to work with her. And so we see the result, right? How do you feel? Good. Good, okay. She's going to sleep so wonderfully tonight. <laughs> yeah, wake up tomorrow and have a great day. Okay, thank you so much for coming. I'm just watch your step here. <laughs> so what we want to do uh, in the next few minutes is we want all of you to experience this, okay? So this is what we're going to do. I want you to put everything down on the floor, and then we're going to work with our neighbor. And one of you is going to be the hypnotist, and the other of you is going to be the, the client, and then we're going to switch. And what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to walk you through it. So all you have to do is, is listen to what I say and say it to the person. So it's very simple. It's an opportunity to meet the person next to you and, and to, to just try this out. Now, we all know we, we know what's supposed to happen, so don't worry about the result. We're just learning how to do it, okay? So let's uh let's stand one, let's get together with your neighbors meet meet the person next to you everyone kind of look up this way for a minute listen to me don't start till i tell you i'm going to tell you uh what to say and what to do so the first thing you're going to do is just ask your client to sit up straight with their feet on the flat on the floor okay so say that okay now tell them that you're that um you're going to take their hand so tell them and then reach in and take their hand and arm then bring the hand up and cradle under the elbow with one hand and show them how you want their hand to be with your hand. Okay, so go ahead and do this. Each, each of you do this now. Bring the hand up. Tap that middle finger right in front of their face. Ask them to focus on the middle finger. Tell them, in a moment, I'm going to release your hand and arm. And your fingers will begin. Now let go. Separating, separating. Let go. Further and further apart. Separating, separating. Wider and wider. Further and further apart. Separating, separating. So, good. How are you? Perfect. Is Sheila? Is that right? Okay. All right, Sheila. 
So you're already in good position. We want our client to be sitting up straight, feet flat on the floor. It's kind of a stable position we start with, okay? All right, Sheila, so I'm just gonna step in here and take a hold of your arm for a moment. I'd like you to bring your hand up in this position like this. Turn it around. Focus on, bring your fingers together and focus on your middle finger. Now in a moment, I'm gonna release your hand and arm. All right, so what we want to do is we want to learn our first tool, uh, something that we can do uh, with our clients. So I'm going to um, ask for someone to come up. They want, they'll allow me to, to work with them to, to, uh, to try something. You want to try it? Okay, good. A hand down, the other hand, bring it up. fingers will begin separating, separating, wider and wider, further and further apart. Separating, separating, wider and wider, further and further apart. Separating, separating, wider and wider, further and further apart. Separating, separating, wider and wider, further and further apart. Separating, separating, wider and wider, further and further apart. Separating, separating, wider and wider, further and further apart. I'm just going to bring that... Don't take it. Don't worry. No one's going to uh, bark like a dog or, you know. <laughs> oh, you done that? <laughs> okay. So I'm going to have you sit here. Okay. So when I do demonstration, and I'll be doing a lot of that over our next few classes together, how we do it is I will, I will just go through it once, and then we'll talk about it. Uh, so just watch and kind of observe what happens, and then we'll talk about what I did and why I did it, okay? All right.